Hello and welcome to this week's version of the weekly wrap-up podcast for Friday, February 23rd, 2024. Uh, thanks for joining us and uh, appreciate you being loyal as always. So we have a lot to cover, so we'll just hop right into it. Uh, I had an interesting week this week going to be with family for a very monumental birthday and family outing. I just got back uh, last night on a late flight into LAX. And uh, anybody who's been to that airport knows it can be a calamity in the evenings with all the international travel. But I'm back, thankfully, safe and sound. Uh, we had shows this week with Francine and Alan Fosdick from Upfront and the Prophetic and the legendary SG Anon. If you haven't seen that, you can check that on our Telegram and our Rumble and our YouTube. Uh, and we were scheduled to have uh, Rod Steele, but because of some flight delays and uh, scheduling conflicts, uh, we've moved that show to Monday. So we're going to have that show with Rod, those of you who were anticipating him. He'll be with us on Monday. And then next week we have, of course, good friend Nick Benyamin and great friend Denise Boland. On Tuesday, those shows will air shortly thereafter, and then we roll right into March, which we will talk about on next week's show. We've got some great guests lined up for March as well. Okay, so going right into the news, I'm gonna. There's a lot to condense in here, so I'm gonna kind of compound some things together for you just to make it easy. So BRICS has basically said that they're going to ditch 95. The the majority of the BRICS nations are going to uh, ditch 95% of the world's dollar, so they're not going to be going with that. In terms of trade, they want, like Bill Holter said, something real for something real. Uh, Biden, the Biden is trying to cancel 1.2 billion in debt forgiveness. That's a ploy to buy votes on an external level. But what it really speaks to is more signs of Nessera happening. Yesterday, as you all know, there were major uh, blackout and uh, communication issues going on. It was a cyber attack, a small one. And we'll get into that in a second. AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Over 70,000 reported customers affected by the outage. Some did not have coverage for the entire day for phone or internet and only had slight texting. Elon Musk and the creator of Starlink even came out and said that this was a cyber attack. It was a test. They want to see how people are going to react when they bring up the new system. I don't know how many of you remember. I think it was about two years ago. They did some something like this with the banking system where banks were down on, online for about 10 to 12 hours. That too was a test to see how people would respond. So they're getting people ready for what we all know is coming. Implementation of ISO 20022 for trade of finance. Uh, that's continuing to bring up the new blockchain system that uh, we can see with the parallel economies. Uh, more central banks having an appetite to buy gold because that deals with Basel III compliance and they're trying to protect themselves as a safe haven. It's basically in survivability mode. Uh, the big thing that I thought was significant this week is that BRICS has asked Iraq to officially join, specifically China and Russia. We've talked about how China and Russia really need this reinstatement and revaluation to occur because of the massive financial losses they've been hemorrhaging. Uh, it's also a way for Iraq to get out of the clutches of their big brother, Iran, and the Iranian proxy government. They, uh, the Sudani is going to be making a trip, I believe, next week to meet with uh, the U.S. Uh, to, to let them know sort of confidentially that they have every intention of doing reforms and coming back to the international stage. And the U.S. deep state does not want this because they hate competition, but they're going to get it anyway. Now, one thing we want to prepare you for, <clears throat> it's not saying it's going to happen for sure, but I don't get panicked, but um, when the reinstatement happens, some banks will not initially do the exchange. There'll be a one to three week downtime. Don't take the bait. Don't try to, to call 800 numbers or find a way to game the system. Just be patient. Sudani will come out and say that the sanctions have been removed and that banks will return to um, getting back on the exchange process for the Iraq dinar and every other currency. So just... Uh, just you know, hang in there, folks. Basically, uh, GOP privately expects a government shutdown. No date set. We've we've seen this before, but uh, I think that really points more to the blackout and everything that entails with that, as far as with respect to a shutdown. Mopani Gold to triple production at Zimbabwe mine. You've seen recently that the IMF uh, and BRICS are supporting Zimbabwe's return to a gold asset-backed economy for their Zim bonds and dollars, like we have talked about many times before. Now, I have this information. I've told, told you folks that we have a great and robust team. It's not just me. And, you know, Joe Williams is just one of many people. Um, I have a sister in Christ, and she's really become a sister and family in, in every conceivable way. So I'm going to keep her name confidential. But she did share some very important information that I'm now going to share with you off my phone. So bear with me. 
Lots of internet and phone system outages today. This was as of yesterday. Signal app is working and text also if you're on Wi-Fi. Huge police activity reported in D.C. Lots of comms coming through the night and this morning from 45. Scavino, Elon Musk, Bezos, and other billionaires selling their stocks at the last several days. Many big wig CEOs quitting, retiring, announcements they are not running. The rats are deserting the sinking ship. Uh, skies in D.C. were filled with fighter jets in close formation all day. Uh, let's see. Arrests have been happening behind the scenes the last couple of weeks. A few days ago, President Trump put out a com with a countdown clock, and you all know the gold sneakers ad. The com was that his public return may come as initially as a sneak or a sneak attack. And then, of course, as we just talked about, suddenly Iraq is now uh, dealing with Washington. And we certainly know that that is not the Biden that he's meeting with. So you're seeing all the pieces come together, folks. It may not be happening as quickly as we like, but we're not in control of this, but God is. And when he is, the timing is always perfect. Um, so I just want to thank you folks for being loyal supporters and, and hanging in there. And uh, we are working as hard as we can. We are putting our heart and soul into this initiative for not only ourselves, but for you. We want you to succeed as much as we do ourselves and everyone around us. And we pray that that shows and the information we're sharing and the time and the energy we're putting in. So thank you. Have a blessed day. Anything major comes out, of course, I'll do a breaking update short. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you on the shows next week and next Friday's wrap-up. Take care. God bless.